he's uh, using three hosting parties. So uh, yeah, if they if you use host party that runs their electricity on renewable energy, that would lower the uh, carbon footprint, of course, very low. Um, uh, yeah, because servers run 24/7, they need electricity all the time. So yeah, if they use uh, wind power or some solar power. That would be a uh, lot benef more beneficial than uh, coal or uh, any other burning or fossil fuel uh, powers, of course. There are also renewable energy credits that some companies get uh, or say they use, but that's not a guarantee that they are using green electricity or uh, green uh, power themselves. It's just that somebody sold those credits to an energy company and that energy company says, okay, I have this credit, so I, I am green. But that doesn't prove that they are green because they can mix it in with their uh, own power as well. So that's not a guarantee. You can use a virtual private server or shared hosting. Well, just think of it as uh, carpooling. Uh, you uh, share the emission if, if you drive together. Well, here, if you're sharing a server together, you share the electricity that's being used. So, you lower your footprint then if everybody has their own server. You can use a content delivery network. Uh, yeah, uh, the, the distance, the real physical distance between your visitor and your website could uh, be quite large. Uh, so, if you have a CDN, those distances can be shorter, and the shorter they are, the faster they actually work, and the less energy will be used. And the real turn point is about if you have 5,000 visitors per day. If it's low, then that, it's not really that beneficial. You don't see any big uh, changes. If it's more than that, you will definitely see changes. Uh, and if you have uh, a website that's local only, or at least mostly used local only, yeah, then uh, this doesn't matter as well for you. And is it used for this? I thought that changed it used cash, caching, but uh, yeah, it's just used proper caching, uh, like varnish or memcache or reddish. Uh, if you use the caching from the memory of the uh, server, that means that the, the hard drive is inside of those. Don't have to turn, which means less electricity needs to be used. And it also improves your uh, speed of this website. And the faster the site will get to the visitor, the less energy you will use. So that's about hosting. Are there any questions about hosting?
So, what can you do, do from a design user uh, experience uh, standpoint? Well, I'm not a UX uh, designer myself, so it's not my area of expertise. I know there's a lot of uh, things that uh, take into consideration. But again, we have, uh, the, the proper use of images. Make sure you use uh, the smaller images if necessary. Maybe even use sprites if you use, if you use a lot of icons. Make sure you design mobile first, because the mobile design is usually the smallest design uh, necessary. So that will be the fastest and make it grow and uh, determine on the device that's uh, needed. Use of colors and fonts. Uh, it's proven that darker colors need less energy especially black, because black means okay, I don't show anything. Uh, so, yeah, uh, not everybody wants a totally black side, of course. Uh, it's something you need to consider when you are uh, designing a website, does it fit with the brand that you are putting out? Uh, and for fonts, yeah, basic system fonts are fastest loaded because they're already on your system. So, if RDL in Latin, uh, are, are the most commonly used, even the article of sans is possible. Uh, but yeah, not everybody wants that. Most companies have their own fonts, so there are two options to uh, use web fonts or embed your fonts, but this will uh, cost extra requests or uh, make your page size a little bit bigger, which of course they make sure that you have the ball more. Those are all things that you need to consider if it goes fit. And a big part of that also is the ease of navigation. It's uh, about the, how easy is everything to find. You, know, um, you can make, make a big maze in your whole website and make sure that people stay a long time. But that will require a lot of page request and that will that make sure that they will have uh, a lot of issues, uh, maybe not finding anything, they may, may even leave, but that's hopefully not the case. But if they find anything easy, they, they don't do a lot of requests, which saves, again, a lot of uh, energy. So, uh, yeah, and also make sure that you have, if your page is quite large, a proper search uh, functionality so that they can find things Faster. So now that we're talking about uh, searching uh, in general, um, the search engine optimization is to make sure that if uh, Google locates your site, that your site is really is what they need. So make sure you have proper use of your keywords. Make sure that. Uh, the keywords you use are in the title, uh, they are in the URL, they are properly used uh, within the content. So that if somebody finds your page while searching for something, the page is useful. So it's not doing a request to your site for nothing. It's nice that you have got a visitor, but if it doesn't help them, then they waste the energy to go there. Uh, I did a presentation about uh, search engine optimization uh, yesterday. So, uh, for further more information about user keywords and anything, I'm going to do that one. It's already a line or so. Um, but there's also the use of redirects. Um, we all know uh, the existence of four or four pages. And, yeah, it is nice to tell them, you know, I cannot find anything means that the person went there, did a request, got the board board, and well, wasted energy to get there. So make sure that if something is removed, that you have a proper redirect, if necessary. Um, for example, also, if you have a 403 page, so someone doesn't have access, don't take them to the login form to say, well, oh, you can log in here, and you can Login form directly saves another request. So I'm going to read it. 
Um, yeah, that's about it uh, for those things. If you want to uh, check if your site is clean, you can go to uh, ecocreator.com and put in your URL and it will uh, tell you where uh, you can score for your website, how about it, and uh, would you score or edge, would you score or you improve. It will even check if your uh, hosting provider is green, so that's nice. But of course, uh, energy is not, uh, electricity is not the only thing. Uh, of course, your own company can be green, make sure you put green uh, uh, to the uh, supplier. If you can reduce single use items, make sure you use less plastic. Uh, recycle where possible. Uh, don't print if you don't need to, that sort of stuff. And yeah, I don't want to really be pushy and say you have to do this, uh, nobody's perfect. Uh, I know that I know, and I make a lot of mistakes even when I'm uh, doing environmental uh, stuff. So yeah. We don't need to be perfect, but at least if we all do something, we will get a better planet. <coughs> and I'm already through my slides, that went way too fast. So, are there any questions? Any questions from the audience? Yes? If we, if we took a site and we did all of those things, if it had been not green to start with, and then we did all of those things. Like, how much difference can it make? Okay, uh, I couldn't hear the question uh, fully. Drop a little bit. Can you the question? Let me see if I can move the mic a little bit. Sorry. It does. Really? Yeah. Um, I, my question was, how much difference can we make in terms of um, CO two equivalent if we if we use all of those best practices? Um, yeah, it depends on, on how big and uh, popular your site is. If your site is just visited uh, a couple of times a month, the impact will be less. The biggest impact will be your uh, hosting provider, if that's green, then yeah, that will be the biggest impact. Um, if your site is really big, um, it can be... Uh, where did I put it? Uh, well, considering that uh, everything that you do that is green, you can, you can say up to, well, like I said, an average page size is 1.4 megabytes, and let's go up there. Let's pass it, pass it, pass it. So, uh, if you can lower that, then you can, you can see how, how much you will save. Go back to uh, one megabyte, you have still one million users. So you drop about 7%, and you drop 30%, so you will be 7 tons of CO equipment that you would save. So making everything fast and small is just the answer. Okay, thank you. Any other questions? No? Okay, thank you very much.